From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is The Night Beat. Hello and welcome to the 1011 Now Streaming Studio. I'm Madison Page here with your Night Beat for Friday, March 15th. It's one of those days where we have got a lot of stories to get through, so buckle up. We're going to take a quick spin through a handful of stories. Southeast Community College and the Nebraska Department of Corrections are teaming up with a new partnership. They had a signing this morning. It aims to expand educational opportunities for the inmates of Nebraska's prisons. A pilot program is underway right now with SCC instructors traveling to correctional facilities to teach a total of 160 students earning credits. This is all in part thanks to a change in federal law that allows inmates to seek federal financial assistance for education. NDCS says this will help in its goal to reduce recidivism and reacclimate inmates to life outside of prison. And SEC says it will help the college keep its promise to be open to all and bolster the skilled workforce. And in this week's drought monitor, most of Lancaster County found itself in moderate drought. But parts of the city got over a half inch of rain on Wednesday into Thursday, which according to our 1011 weather team is about a third of what we average in the month of March. One climatologist at UNL says this is the best time for this corner of the state to cover ground in the fight against the drought, especially with last year's dryness carrying into this year. Once the month of May hits, the monthly precipitation average jumps from about an inch and a half up to over five inches, meaning if Mother Nature doesn't treat southeastern Nebraska too kindly going into the summer, another dangerous season could be in store for us here. And medical marijuana has been a talking point in probably every single election I have covered in my career at 1011. And this year, the group behind that initiative in Nebraska has launched their third campaign to try and get the issue on the ballot. They made some changes to their approach this time around, and they tell us they are well on their way to the goal. Nebraskans for Medical Marijuana are hosting signature drives for two different initiatives right now. One that would set protections for patients and caregivers using it, and another that sets the regulations around it. Their first two efforts to get this issue in front of voters failed for different reasons, but this year they feel confident about where they stand. They've already gathered over 40,000 signatures. They need a total of 87,000 from 5% of at least 38 Nebraska counties all by July 3rd. And I want to give you an update on Morrill Hall. The five month renovation is over. It made the building a little more ADA compliant. It widened doorways and updated lighting. And Morrill Hall says they are really excited that these changes are going to help the building continue for another 100 years. That is all we have got for you today. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we've got more news, weather, and sports tonight at 10 and all night long on 1011now.com. Before we go, here's a look at your seven day forecast. You've been listening to The Night Beat. Watch, listen, and stream on the 1011 app on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts.